Hi guys, welcome back to Three Little Babies. Today, our video is going to be about how to make a regular pacifier into a magnetic reborn pacifier. I bought all of these today and I'm going to be giving them to one of my really good friends that I met through TikTok and I'm going to use them to basically show you guys how to make your own. Also, my dog is here and she's like in a really cuddly mood so you're probably gonna see her throughout this video quite a lot. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to open up all of these packages and just get all of the pacifiers out. Okay, so now that I have them all out, um, I am going to basically cut off the actual part that goes inside of the baby's mouth. And then I'm going to try and make it as flush with the plastic part as possible. So I'll show you. I like to take like teeny tiny scissors because it works better. I cut one end to get a hole and then trim as close around that I can. And if you have pets around, make sure to throw this away. <laughs> Sometimes you can rip them off, but most times you just have to end up cutting them. Like I said, try to make it as flush as possible. This will allow the magnet to adhere better. So I'm going to go ahead and do this to every single one of these and I will meet you back here. So now that I've cut them and they are all flush and it's literally just the hard outer plastic piece, you're gonna need your magnets. These are the magnets that I get. They come in two different sizes. Um, these are the teeny tiny ones. I'm gonna try these because these came in a pack of 10, so technically it's cheaper. They basically have the same exact strength as the other ones that I use, but this will be less bulky. So, um, these I got at Home Depot. What you're gonna do is figure out how to open these. There we go. And I'm gonna keep these away from my dog. Here is little Mr. Bodie. So, I'm going to take these apart and I know that this is the edge that attaches this end it won't go anywhere near it so this is the way that the magnet needs to be facing outward and this side needs to be glued onto the magnet like so so now that I know that we're gonna stick that on here to keep track and then the next thing that you're gonna need is some good old glue. I use E6000. Um, it's really old and like <laughs> all dried out. So I have to fix this and then I'll be back. It is best to do this when you have your windows open, but it's like 60 degrees right now where I am. So I'm not gonna open my windows. So we're gonna take this one. What I'm gonna do is right where we cut the like nipple part of the binky off we're gonna put a dab of glue there we go okay so so we want this side to be facing outwards so what we're gonna do is put the other side on here you know just how a magnet is and i like to put it exactly where Like right in the center where we took that off. And then what we're going to do is put more glue on it and around it just a tiny bit. Not like a whole bunch. Just to make it so that the felt sticks to it. This is just a piece of felt that I've been using and you need to cut a circle to cover the magnet. This allows... Um, there to be like a buffer between the doll and the magnet so it doesn't scratch the doll's paint and then you just move it into place make sure the magnet is all covered make sure there isn't any glue coming out that's like the biggest thing Wipe up the glue before it dries fully. 
and then you're done. You gotta let this sit for a couple hours to fully dry. I have never had an issue with the magnet coming off, with the felt coming off, because how strong this glue is um, from the front, you can't even tell. If your felt does cover up these little like ventilation holes, you can always just cut it away a little bit. Um, but yeah, to make it seem really realistic, make sure there isn't any felt either popping through the top or the bottom or through the ventilation holes. But yeah, that's basically it. So now I have to do that like nine more times and we're just gonna do a little time lapse of that and I'll show you them all finished. So these are all of the pacifiers completed and she's going to be getting I think nine of these. I think she already has one of them. Um, but yeah, you can't even tell from the front, but they all have a little magnet and a little piece of felt on the back. The white ones, you can like barely see it, but... Yeah, so now what we have to do is just leave them to dry and they'll be good to go. If you have any questions on how to make these, leave them down below and I will answer. Bye guys!